In the face of growing threat from China, Taiwan unraveled its first ever domestically built submarine on Thursday. In the meantime, China launched its first cross-sea high-speed bullet train which will pass across the Taiwan Strait in the run to strengthen its territorial claim over Taiwan. The island's democracy leader Tsai Ing-wen hailed the launch of the submarine as a significant milestone as Taipei works vehemently to boost its military against China. According to the Taiwanese defense chiefs, the submarine would add to the nation's military prowess, making it harder for China's potential invasion of the island nation. President Tsai Ing-wen, who presided over the ceremony at the submarine's shipyard, officially named it Narwhal in English and Haikun in Mandarin, a term which is loosely translated to sea monster. Stating that the submarine is a concrete commitment in defending the nation, which China claims to be its territory, President Tsai said that the submarine would be an important equipment for the naval forces as the Taiwanese government seeks to develop the asymmetric warfare strategies. Significantly, for Tsai, the inauguration ceremony of the submarine Narwhal was momentous as she was the one who launched the flagship defense policy to build the first domestic submarine shortly after she took the office in 2016. Meanwhile, the Xi Jinping government launched its first high-speed rail line that will travel across several bays and skim along the coast of the southeastern province of Fujian near the Taiwan Strait, reflecting its high ambition to expand its territorial limits. Recently, China has been ramping up pressure on Taiwan as large number of fighter jets, bombers and surveillance aircraft have conducted a slew of sorties around the island, making it essential for Taiwan to build a strong defence system.